How long does it take to fruit? To a nurseryman, the question is perennial. <laughs> I hear it over and over and over and over and over and over again. Everybody's concerned about how long it'll take them to get those apples, those persimmons, those berries. Yeah, and truly, you know, we don't live that long. So, I guess only so much window where we can wait for a tree since trees tend to live a long long time but oftentimes I'll respond with what I think I know about you know first flowerings or fruit settings and on, on fruit plants uh, obviously the ones that are grafted usually flower a little earlier because the grafting root forces them uh, seedling plants usually will take a longer period of time but even within that um, there's a, a whole lot of variation in genetics right because uh, now right here behind me on either side I have one Jabuticaba right here and then I have another Jabuticaba right over here this one was 10 years before it fruited that one was seven <laughs> okay but at the moment they are loaded the air here smells look at these flowers this is the uh, pretty close to the way they show it in the textbooks <laughs> yeah it, this is a first for me uh, I have had uh, good crops of fruit off of these trees for years and the quality of the fruit's been good too and so I've been happy I see we got a couple of greenies right here uh, but I've never seen flowering like this come on the plants and well what it's telling me <laughs> is that my plants are coming of age see so it's the difference really between uh, when does it make fruit and when does it really come of age because uh, well right over here next to me is the Satsuma Mandarin now the Satsuma's flowering too. And if I recall correctly, uh, Satsuma often will make fruit from a grafted tree the first year it's put in the ground. I've seen that before. But when that happens, the fruit isn't that good. And so how long does it take a satsuma to fruit? Hmm. One to three years. When does the satsuma actually make a decent crop of fruit? Hmm. Ten years. When does the fruit on a satsuma tree get, become absolute perfection and what to die for? Hmm. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, maybe fifty years. By the time you get out fifty years, and a lot of different citrus if they're still alive and healthy you have the best quality fruit that you will ever pick off the trees now on sour citrus like a lime it really doesn't matter that much because they flavor up well on young trees old trees so it's not necessarily even consistent as a rule right through citrus young lime trees really produce uh, i think as good a quality fruit as the older trees do the older trees just make a lot more of it i recall um, selling bare root fruit trees while living in california and we used to get this whole whole mix say of different apples for instance and so the, the ones that are known commercially like yellow delicious and and um, red delicious and macintosh and all that well we had to have them on the table for sure um, and maybe we got some of the latest ones from new zealand like the sundowners or pink pearls or pink ladies rather or something in that order but then we would always include a certain amount of antique and heirloom trees into the apple batch um and one of those trees was the Cox Orange Pippin. Now, I know from research that the Cox Orange Pippin is supposedly one of the more highly esteemed apples in the UK. And it goes back quite a ways. This is a centuries-old apple variety. The 
the English have been eating Cox's Orange Pippin for a long time. In Old English, that's what Pippin means. <laughs> Apples. Yeah, we call them pip fruits. I guess <laughs> goes together. But anyway, I, I had these trees in the nursery. And, uh, well, a lot of times the heirloom trees, they didn't sell well. You know, people came in for what they knew in the supermarket, and that was it. But I recall I had an English gentleman who was shopping, and uh, um, he purchased the Cox Orange Pippin. He was delighted that he could have a Cox Orange Pippin in California. So that was fine and dandy. But we guarantee everything we sell. And since we never sold very many of those heirloom trees, I used to take some of them home and plant them. Um, and if nothing else, I'd use them for rootstocks for other varieties. But I used to put them in to see what the heck they were about. I wanted to know, too. And I planted a Cox Orange Pippin. And uh, uh, anyway, in the meantime, the Englishman came back at me and said, This tree is not the apple I remember from England. You know, <laughs> I don't do an English accent. Well, uh, but he was angry. And he almost tossed the tree at me. I, I gave him his money back, but he was really disappointed in this thing because the Cox Orange Pippin will in the first year, two to three, it makes fruit. Yeah, it's a very precocious plant. makes fruit like crazy. Um, and he picked some of the fruit, and it was gnarly. <laughs> well, in the meantime, I had planted Cox Orange Pippin in my yard, and it had begun to fruit, and I tested the fruit, and I said, Mm, yeah, I agree. This is just lousy. <laughs> the English must be crazy. But anyway, so I went through and I began to top work the tree. Yeah, I took other varieties of apples that I wanted to grow. And I cut off the cocks on the top and worked these others and framework the tree. Uh, but I get busy. Never finished all of the work. And so there was a lot of cocks left in this tree. And, uh, well... About the fifth year, I think, the tree was in the ground, I tested the apples, the cocks that came on it, and well, they were better than they were earlier on. But then by the seventh year, the apples were really quite good. Uh, I, well, I'd, I'd have probably put them as a, as a seven, you know, on a one to ten. Uh, they were pretty good apples. And, uh, well, one of my clients, I used to do little apple fairs for, my, for people in the garden club and stuff and I'd invite everybody over in apple season we'd do a tasting and I'd cut the stuff up in the yard and we'd hand it around well one of my clients that I uh, did landscape work for um, she insisted you must sell me every apple from the Cox Orange Pippin now she was from Puerto Rico <laughs> okay but the, the fruit was that good that she wanted every one of them she insisted every year you must sell me all this fruit uh, and so uh, the lesson is that, well, how long does it take something to bear? Well, maybe two or three years. How long does it take for something to get to quality where you really want to eat it? Hmm, well, that's a harder question to answer. Depends <laughs> on what it is. So, you know, in the case, like I said, the limes, it really doesn't matter. Um, in the case of uh, um, the uh, jabuticabas. Yeah, the first year Jabuticabas made fruit. I think the fruit was as good as it is now. It's, you know, uh, the only difference I'm seeing is as the trees mature, they're really beginning to put it on. They're really acting like the way they're supposed to in the books, you know. Uh, as another note, too, by the way, uh, I had this video about reliable sources of information, and I was talking about some plants will tolerate literally almost being abandoned in the wild. Jabuticaba in eastern Hawaii is one of those plants. Uh, I've done nothing for these Jabuticabas lately, nothing at all. They grow here uh, almost like native plants, almost perfectly adapted to these conditions. So, yeah, some things. I keep the weeds down over there. Aloha, y'all. Hang loose.